Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in automation with the light campaign V3.7 Let's Play that is taking on Lowy Tech Sports in Frenia making affordable sports cars. Uh, how affordable they are going to be will be seen um, very soon because we are about to launch our very first car or rather not launch but sign it off and head forward accelerate time until it actually launches a beautiful rots push rots inline six two liter in there the saturn with three trims a one two seater a four seater and a convertible two seater beautiful stuff hopefully so and yeah beautiful speaking of that I hope your um, designs of it are beautiful and your picture taking skills are beautiful and splendid as well because that is what our little co uh, in parallel competition is about and that will be a lot of fun looking forward to the entries so here we go are you sure I want to sign off the selected project uh, I think so yes yes I am sure and whew, that's some economy let's deactivate everything that is irrelevant uh, as I explained in the previous episode, Freenia is a bit on its own at the start when it comes to sports cars. They have a very particular taste and not many others are sharing that one with them. So from here, we just hope we don't go bankrupt basically. Um, we shall pop in here and add one level of uh, dealership and I'm going to let it run until about two years before we release it and then I'm going to up the target to two and that will ensure that we are um, like you, you see there's a, a big jump between level zero and level one 25 percent on the max and then it's a much smaller jump of just another 15 percent so what you really want is to be above level one when you start uh, selling your cars and only when you start selling your cars you really want to add some marketing as well because otherwise you're paying for nothing really uh, yeah it's not great so yes that is a good setup we are ignoring Hedvesia here because of the reasons I have stated last time that is they don't even have the appropriate demographics just yet so yeah that's not great to be selling in there and holy shit that expansion cycle has made plot super expensive uh i think last time i made a a start in Farinia just like a few days ago to test things uh that value was at this point in time roughly at 42 percent so, man, that expansion was massive. Okay. Nevertheless, let's get rolling. So, accelerate time and we just go from here. No R&D just yet. We just need to squeeze, squeeze by with what we got. And that's not much. All right. We are about two years before we are heading into production. And I just want to check. Are we the highest here? Oh, we're a lot higher than Gasmia. Oh, we are lower than the Lua. Oh, okay. So the Freemians aren't actually doing that that well compared to the others. Um, I'm looking at the bigger cycles here, like the 80-ish uh, year cycle. I forgot the name of it. What? Uh, I, I myself put it in in the game. What was the name of it? Ah, it's like 80 years roughly. That's uh, a big. A big wave of um, economic upturn and downturn. It's basically, a, a society gets degenerate um, where we are basically now. So uh, yes, yes, uh, that is looking like Farinia is not on the top with in in regards to that. So we can look forward to some even better numbers in future. But what we did want to do is just up the dealership levels to... Ooh, that hurts. 42k, another 30k on top of that. Ah, but we need it. We need it. We want to sell our cars after all. And of course, no loan taken out so far. Now comes the factory. Factory building from scratch. That will hurt. Uh, ow! 
Ow, 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 ow. And, oh, that is... Oh, that's not good news. <laughs> oh, fuck. Economic downturn. We are already contracting by 2% year over year. Uh, so, actually, con actual contraction right now is a lot worse than that. It's bad. I hope it turns up quickly then from there. This looks pretty deep. Yeah, this just goes down. No, oh, slow turning around. Okay, it's turning around. It's turning around. Let's slow it down a bit. We need to be on top of things. And come on, tick there. Right, production has started. The Lua's opened the borders. We ignore them because they don't have enough for us to, uh, to really make this viable. It's quite expensive if you take a look here. If you wanted to sell to Tulu, look at that. 32k for a few cars. Nah, I don't think so. And if you look at uh, Frenia, we are now at level 1.26. So basically where we want to be. And we should have... Oh, we do want to do some marketing. Let's do sportiness. Oof, uh, level 2. Level 2 is fine. Just bit of extra extra power in growing our awareness stats so market awareness uh, has been increasing year over year of course because we've been growing our dealerships and now we should see the effects of selling and we should start to see the effects of our marketing as well the good news is we still have 42 million in the bank I very much doubt that we are going to uh, make any profits in the first two years of this which is about how long a facelift will take so it's a little unfortunate but uh, that gives us a decent buffer and also means that we can design our larger inline six if we wanted to um probably worth doing right now so how about we basically design a larger one so new engine what will our future larger sports cars have, uh, is the question. That is what we are trying to find out. And we now, right now, we have 10.2% familiarity, because our other engineering project just finished. Uh, two liter is the one, and do we want to make this a little, little larger? But push rod are awful at revving like this so maybe we do want to keep it at 86 86 just a standard three liter hmm i don't know we do a 35.6 percent familiarity in push rods and now 1.3 percent in overhead cam because of the synergy we have recently revamped some of the synergies as well in blocks and engine types here. So we should have some in inline three. Yes, it's basically like making an inline three as well because that's just two inline threes mirrored uh, glued together. That's an inline six, more or less. That's a plus minus a few little details that we should not talk about. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So how about going with a... Uh, a square 3.2 liter inline six push rods of course that thing won't rev anywhere but it will be more prestigious because of the higher capacity and i think especially for the yeah okay here's the four like if we want to stay competitive um we do want to uh, in the gt especially we do want to have a larger engine. The sports and the light sports category care about lighter engines with higher revability. But the GT demographic doesn't care whatsoever about... Oh, well, they do care. They kind of want that, but on the other hand, they do fancy their large engines. This isn't a very large engine, of course. Uh, so maybe we should go a little larger just to cater to them. If we, if we build this like purpose build this one for GT cars then it probably should be a bit more like a 9288 it won't rev because oh yeah another thing you need to think of is we are using push rods 
So they are not going to rev. So the stroke won't be the limiting factor for how high you can rev this thing. It will be the push rods. Um, that is... Hmm. That's interesting. I uh, rarely run into this limitation because I, <laughs> I don't use the push rods much. But let's go ahead with this one. We might require heavy duty cast. Oh, it feels odd putting that into a sports engine. Uh, we shall see if we get away with these. It's not massively oversized. Um, let's go with 7.5. Cam profile. Yeah, 40 ish is still fine. I probably need plus 3 here at least to rev this anywhere. And let's go with single barrel but triple carb. And standard intake because we do want to be a little quiet with this one. Mm, regular leaded. Not going to rev there, no. Maybe 4 5? That seems awfully low for a sports car, but let, let's see where we are going. Uh, do, yeah, let, let's keep it with the tubular, but we do want to keep it quiet. So, oof. Ugh. As expected. As expected, but we did hit exactly where we rev at our plus three. Where do we rev if we have... Oh, three seven! <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so, yeah, let's take some heavy duty stuff. That gets rid of that. It revs to 4.9. 4.9? That's a long way up there. Can go there. And then increase this one by another step. 137 horsepower. Oh, we exactly hit the run limit, too. That's beautiful. And probably going to want to have plus three quality in here. At least. Can we up the octane one? Probably. Just barely. Uh, no knocking? No, we have knocking. No, we don't have knocking. Mm, very nice and quiet. Pretty powerful. And very low down. This is not really a sports car torque curve or anything. But, uh, oh, well, it, it kind of is just scaled down by a factor too. <laughs> from, from a rev point of view. Uh... That is reasonably high. We probably want to lower this to around... No? Around 3,000 is good. Yeah, around 3,000, exactly. Not around 4,000. So, but we don't want to... Over the... Ah, uh, shit. Do we have to lower this? Um, Or up this, rather. Like that. Yeah, 136. Okay. I can live with this. It's not too bad. Nice and quiet. Doesn't require that much cooling. Because it's large. And not that much power. Power density isn't that high. Uh, we are doing well here. And the only problem right now. Is that we are exhaust limited. That is an easy fix. Oh there. Look at all the performance. Oh, that's a little scary though. Do we want that much performance? Let's see how much. Oh that's nice. Yeah. Makes it nice and quiet. Makes it nice and quiet. Let's keep it that way. It is powerful. It has has the acceleration, of course. Just not the, the max speed. Max speed is also dangerous because you don't really want to pay for the tires that can cope with it. And we are going to call it the RP50 because it is a prototype. We are not going to put this into production. So, no factory selected. And we are going to... Uh, well, just pull the funding down, really. Don't care about it getting done anytime soon. Um, does cost us very little. Yeah. Tooling, it's already optimized a little bit for tooling that way. When do we want to finish this thing? We're probably... Uh, when are we going to want to design our next car? Around five years' time? Hmm, maybe a little bit later. Well, I would guess... Oh, no, around five years' time. It's the spot. 1955. A few more car bodies, interesting ones, are becoming available then. So I think we want to be done right about then. 1955. 
Although, maybe we can wait till 56. Then this would be almost perfect. Uh, we can lower the reliability a bit more. Can always up that in the in the actual rebuild of the engine then. And the tooling by one more. And yep, 60. So that's perfectly five years. And this is all looking good. Family is taking a while. Top end, not so much. And the whole project, the whole damn engineering project, just costs us uh, less than 5 million. Very nice. But we then have a nice little, oh, no, big um, inline six waiting for us for future uh, GT car use. And that would even fit into a. Um, revamp of our current vehicle of our current GT the Saturn um, because we didn't even see the two liter engine in the engine bay it was so tiny it didn't even appear on the engine arrows so that's great stuff oh let's just sign it off yes this is considered a prototype or concept and I agree that sounds awesome mate sign it off and now we need to do, before we even have sold a single car, we already need to start the facelift. Because it's so damn important to be on top of things in insane difficulty. Even though we have lowered it slightly. It's, it's not insane plus, it's just... Mm, yeah, it's, it's out there. Oh, before I do this... Oh, nice scoring trims, by the way. Uh, that is looking good. Before I do this, let's check out when stuff comes out. Uh, that's too long a wait. I can't wait for two shoe drum brakes. They are a big benefit, but can't wait for those. Um, oof. Why is the convertible doing so poorly? Did I choose the wrong one? The convertible sports. Okay, now it's doing well in its intended demographic. And we're just going to add Mark II on the end of this and re-edit it. Let's have a look what we can do to improve them in general. Uh, did we cut corners before that we don't have to cut anymore? I think what we're going to do here is make a replacement of our engine. Because that one did certainly cut a few corners. Let's go here, that is the R50, the ROTS 50. Oh, the 50 stands for the year in that case. And that is looking nice still. Now we can up that to plus five, maybe? Probably. If we're, that's the benefit of starting the facelift early. Um, and then let's modify that a little later. Probably add a bit more cam profile. Um, do we need to? No, not really. Okay, that keeps it keeps it nice, and that is all good. Plus three here. Uh, good for the reliability ratings. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We can rev higher now, of course. Don't want to have talk of looking like that. We could rev to six four for the internals, but of course. That, that is way, way off our scale. Hmm. Uh, it's good. I mean, push rods definitely keep us in the, in, the, in the area of just using cast internals because you de don't need more. And I think we're going to keep the baffled muffler in the end. It's the uh, poor man's straight flow. Um, and the tubular headers. We don't need to open this one up, do we? Uh, does it increase ratings? It does. I think we do want that for the little one, for this little engine. We could make a variant of it that is made for our GT version, which has uh, just some more muff mufflers on it. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, we didn't even check out the engine sound of our little push rods. So, nope, front wheel drive is not what we want. Um, so let's test it manually. Here we go. Does sound pretty good to me. All right, 
Uh, oh, oh, that's all, all looking fancy. And we are ready with this one. Uh, good, good tune. There's not much we had to change for sure. But, oh, this is the sports version. So we do want to have the non-muffled engine. That's good. So that's the one we've selected. Drive type. I think we're going for four gears. Or are we? Uh, lowering scores. Is it because of extra wheel spin? Yeah, it is. It is, but we can get rid of... No, we don't really need to. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. This is... I'm, I'm on my normal treadmill of... Mate, let's make everything superb. No, we don't need to. We are low-tech sports. Uh, yeah, there's nothing nothing super about us. So, um, sports compound already has some familiarity there. I think these are going to update to 55s. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So let's retune this. Um, yeah, need some reconsideration of suspension stuff. This is still looking good. No two shoe available. Of course, this is fucked now. Uh, it's, it's fine. Premium has come down a little bit in price, not as much as I previously stated, uh, like dropping by a third. I think it was 760 or something before. So it has come down significantly, but not quite as much. Uh, that's fine. And could add one more here to the quality of the steering. And, oh, oh, this is a neat one. I'm going to go for advanced 50s because this is a facelift and um, we, we do have plenty of time. We just started selling our car and this now, we've changed the, uh, the progression of this uh, in familiarity. The uh, Engineering the advanced 50s will give you familiarity in standard 60s and basic 70s so oh yeah and basic 60s of course as well um and of course standard uh standard 50s as well so it goes one decade further it just it's it's nice it's nice in that way and right now it doesn't hurt to engineer this one despite it being a big vector it will probably be the biggest vector but i think we could live with a oh can we live with a three-year engineering time? Yeah, let's let's put it in and see what happens. The tuning here still is good from a from that stamp. Oh, well, yeah, a roll angle standpoint. That's the only thing that is good about this. Uh, we do need to increase sway bar's front. This needs to have more grip in the rear. So there we go. Come down there, son. Uh, yeah, perfect. 99.9 .9. very nice good tune just solved it with the sway bars although i think we do need to redo this with a little less 4.6 can we redo it like this 4.9 perfect that is where i want it to be um around five percent for sports cars is rule of thumb I, if you're going hypercar then more like three uh, three degrees but uh like five is great for sporty stuff and for um, barges and so on you can go up to a little bit more than seven like normal family cars are around seven six to seven yep still hitting the market very nice great build now oh, our engine upgrade has made it such that we are now at f below 14 seconds uh, so 13.3 looking good and here we get the same upgrade, of course, with this one. This is our four-seater. So uh, let's do all the upgrading that, that we have also done before. Nothing changes, really. Okay, retuned it. Just switched around a bit of the sway bar settings to um, equal and, uh, equalize it out. We were way, way oversteering. Let's check the fast steering behavior. Yep, uh, it's nicely uh, terminating at understeer instead of terminating you. And now we are doing pretty well in GT. Our other engine, of course, isn't done yet. Um, well, how how would it be? We've just started it. Like, oh, why aren't you done yet, guys? <laughs> we just gave you the order yesterday. Whew, this one is quick. 12.8 seconds. 
Lowered the gearing a bit, a bit more wheel spin. It's all all acceptable. Gets you higher scores as well, as it should. Um, and that that is one thing that some of you pointed out. I know of one person specifically, um, Black Beetle. He was making the case that, uh, well, this is all fact because, um, like, sports car buyers prefer having no wheel spin um, over fast acceleration times. But that was actually an artifact of the secondary stats not being correctly calculated. And now here we have a perfect example of higher wheel spin being preferred um, as a payoff for having faster acceleration times. So now it is working as intended. And the same suspension shenanigans have to be done here. Let's stiffen it up there, let's soften it here, and that is pretty much spot on. Yeah, perfect. Around the 5 degree mark and around 100 sportiness. Perfect stuff. Convertible sport, how is your market looking? Very green as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's doing well. Excellent, that's a good set of changes for all of these cars. And for their production, I don't know, of course, if we need to scale it up or not. Uh, I would guess no, not just yet. I'd rather go and sell them at a higher uh, profit margin than scaling up my production at the moment. This is very delicate at the start. So uh, here we go, this is still quite automated. Just 1.3 million to retool, the minor retool at that point. So that's good. Ah, it isn't too bad. It really isn't too bad. 27.5. And the only really big vector in here is our... Oh. Wait a second. Why is it even that? If this is 23... Ah! Oh, of course, because we have uh, several different trims that always complicates things. And 204 cars a month. Yeah, it's looking fine. Let's get it up to 36. So three years of runtime for our first one. Let's hope that is good enough. Just 5 million bucks for the engineering costs. It is also fair. And we need to still sign off the, um, the engine. Let's check out first if we still have lots of engineering time left over because then we could do another variant for the GT version which has very muted uh, mufflers. Oh yeah, okay, that, that isn't very expensive. I think we can just easily do that. Get away with the second variant. So we're going to clone an existing variant, the R50, and that is the R50M for muffled. Yeah, it does help it slightly. Yeah, ever so slightly. Um, also gives us some um, familiarity in the mufflers, of course, which might be nice for our future GT engine, which we're currently producing. Oh, not producing, uh, engineering as well. Both engines being produced in the same factory. That's nice, just need some more production units. It's fair enough. And that has upped our engineering time to 17.2. I think what we can do is up the tooling. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we have plenty of time. Can even up our reliability slightly to 60. It's good, 25. We're still reducing costs like crazy. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is perfect. Can even reduce pressure a bit more, although that costs us. Yeah, that costs us a little too much. I'd rather have them finish a little early. Oh, look at that. It costs 60 bucks more to have the dual reverse flow mufflers on there. Good scoring cars. But we are... Oh, that is something. Don't forget about that when you're doing your facelifts. Always set back to it. Uh, set it back to your uh, to the minimum that you want. Minimum sales margin. Um, there will be more options in future outside of this setup. 
Because right now you're kind of screwed if you mess this up. That's not how it's in supposed to go. Uh, but yeah, from the calendar you're supposed to be able to, to change that as well. So this is all looking good. Factories are not overworked. Um, by the way, we can simply upgrade our car factory when we need to, when we don't have to upgrade our engine factory at the same time, because we are about half way. So we can double the amount of cars we produce and still be online for our engines. Great stuff. This is looking good. The Saturn Mimus S2 Mark II and company, they are all going into production very soon. Not yet. Um, sign them off. Do we want to sign this one off? Yeah. Yeah, we do. At the same time. Yeah, they can be aligned. It's fine. Alrighty. And that means, I think, let's head back here. <laughs> yeah, we, we are actually, we're actually starting to sell something as well, hopefully. Um, should we have one tick and then call it a day? And there we go. Do we sell? Yeah. Not that much. Not much. But economic upturn is coming. And things are hopefully looking better again. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I must have must have viewed that figure before where I was saying 42%. This is still at 49, so it's pretty high, but when I was saying that, so Fruinia alone is at 70. Uh, yes, upturn is coming, and if we look at our at our world markets and trends, we should see the market awareness already go up in a few categories. Yep, just slightly, but we are getting there. Monthly sales that oh look at that, we're covering everything. Uh, not so much. We shall see how this goes and continues. For now, I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>